What's good, YouTube? And the Gimme That Gang affiliation, it's your boy, of course, Mr. Gimme That. And I'm back on your heels again with another video. First and foremost, always gotta send a first shout out to my man, God. That boy, God! God does so much for me and mine on a daily basis. He's the main reason why I'm here, and I thank him for the life and for the air that I breathe. So he definitely has to get the first shout out on my small channel, my small platform each and every time. Second shout out goes to the Gimme That Gang affiliation, whether you're here religiously or in passing, I definitely appreciate everybody that leaves likes, comments, that has subscribed to the channel, that leaves me advice, encourages me, let me know what's what when it comes to the two-way community. So today's video will kind of be a unboxing slash comparison video. If you read the title, then you would know that I do have a new addition to the family. It will be pretty much my, you know, everyday carry gun. What for? I did sell Roscoe Jr., which was my uh, Glock 19. I just feel like, you know, it is a great gun. I'm not knocking Glock. Glock is still, you know, one of my favorite brands, one of my favorite pistols. Um, just for me, man, in the lifestyle I live, you know, I'm always in a white beater, always in some, in some shorts or some down here in hot Miami, Florida. So I need something a bit smaller than the, um, the Glock 19. So, um, you know, I went ahead and sold that and, um, went ahead and added a new, a new gunner to the family. And, um, that's the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield Plus. It's just perfect. And I'm kind of excited to go ahead and, and, and bring that to y'all today. So it's going to be an unboxing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and, and check it out. All right, here we go. <clears throat> like I told y'all before, I ain't got all the high-tech equipment, so I got to do this with one hand. We're going to keep it short and simple. We got the receipt right here. Nobody cares about that. It comes with the 10-round uh, mag. Those bullets didn't come with it, by the way. I had uh, some bullets left over in my Glock 19, so I just went ahead and put them in there. And I didn't want to touch this. They go the rest of them down there. There we go. Check it out the package. Nobody cares about the package. Here we go. Everything clean, still nice and oiled up. Chamber flag and everything in there. Fresh out the box. I mean, Y'all don't care about the uh, the receipts and the, and the uh, instructions, I know. All right, so now that we got that box out of the way, here's the product. The Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9 Plus. That's a mouthful right there, so I'ma just say Shield Plus. You guys get the picture. Got the chamber flag in there. <clears throat> we gonna go ahead and this bag, which is empty. Safety ranges and safety patrol out there. The gun is clear, as you see. I just got it out of the box. Mmm, that's that new gun smell, baby. Excellent. So, um, I figure I'm gonna put the clip in. You can tell I'm a noob to it. About to put the clip in backwards. But, um, yeah, so <clears throat> I got this thing here off gunbuyer.com. Um, it was $4.79. So after taxes, I think I paid like five twelve. I was gonna pick it up at Shoot Straight, but they wanted like five seventy, I believe, something like that, five eighty, something like that. So I saved a couple bucks and ordered it offline, gunbuyer.com. This thing got here in like two days. That there's impressive. Ordered it like late on that night, like it was around eleven midnight. They told me it was it was being shipped, but you know I didn't I didn't think it was gonna be here that fast. So um, it's here. And um, I'm, I'm excited, can't you tell? Am I reaching? Yup. I actually did sell uh, Roscoe Jr. Roscoe Jr. was my um, Glock 19. And not because I have anything against Glock or the 19 itself, I actually love Glock. And I love the 19 in the short time that I had it. Um, it reminded me a lot of my first gun, which was a Glock 23. But <clears throat> um, the way I like to dress down here in Miami, um, where it's hot, a thousand degrees every now and then. That's a reach. Like the well of, you know, white beater golf shirts with my arms out, you know, basketball shorts, um, board shorts. And, um, <clears throat> you know, the Glock 19 was just a bit bulky 
for my liking. Um, you know, I had a, I had one of those retention holsters. It was a nice holster. I don't think it was a holster, but it was a bit bulky. I think it was just because of the clothes that I like to wear. So I wanted to definitely get something a little smaller, something a little more compact. Um, I do know I'm I'm losing out on the um, magazine capacity by, but not that much. Maybe by two two rounds or so. I'm fine with that. Um, you know, oftentimes, most times, lucky shot times. It only take one shot. So. I mean, if it's one of those times and you know that one shot is all it takes, then you know I'm good. You know, you hit the right spot. You don't need 15, 20 bullets in the uh, magazine. But I do know the more, the better. So I'm just hoping that, you know, I never get in one of those situations and um, have to, you know, actually use my firearm in that manner. I'm not, you know, the type of guy to go out and look for trouble, even want trouble to come my way so I can say I got in a gunfight. If I want to get in a gunfight, I can get on Call of Duty or Battlefield with all my boys. And guess what? If things go wrong, guess what I can do? Respawn. Again. Ain't no respawn in life. You understand? You make a mistake out here, somebody run up, you ain't got no respawn. So I stick to the video games on the PS4 where if I happen to lose a gunfight, guess what? I just press square and I'm back in the fight again. With ease. You got the greatest of ease. Yeah, that's right. So, um... I definitely want to, while well, I got y'all here, I want to do a comparison. You know, I like hearing from you guys, man, the guys that are active and to give me that gang affiliation. And um, I want this to kind of be a comparison, comparison to what you say. Okay, I have the Shield Plus here, and I also have the Springfield Hellcat, which is, um, it's actually my mom's gun. Don't tell her. She don't watch my videos, but she knows I have it. She knows I have it because she has been asking me to give her this back for the longest. And I'm like, mom, just hold on. You know, I ain't got RJ no more. Can't be around here naked. I need something on me. She like, I do not care. I need something on me, boy. What am I supposed to? I'm like, mom, you ain't going nowhere. Just chill. So I've been rolling around with, she called it WD. It's her initials. I've been rolling around with WD. You know, until I was able to get back into the game, which I am now. I'm a concealed, concealed carry. Um, let's check WD. WD is clear. Give me nothing in there. Let's show. I learned. I always got to tell y'all I learned. But yeah, she is clear. So um, I don't want to do a comparison though um, with the two. Bloopers. That's a bad look. All right, I'm back. So magazine dropped out on me. I guess I ain't secure. So that's a rule for everybody. Make sure your magazines are secure in the gun. You don't want to get in a gunfight and that magazine pop out because it wants secure. Because guess what? It ain't no respawn. Right. But anyway, like I said, I want to put them together and kind of see. Um, I don't know. It look like the. I don't know, man. So I wanted something smaller. This actually looks a little bigger than the Hellcat. If y'all can see that. I don't know if I'm holding it good enough, but it, it look a little bigger, a little longer. Um, I know the handle definitely is a bit slimmer than the Hellcat. It looks taller than the Hellcat, but either way, I don't want to compare it too much to the Hellcat because like I said, it's, this is not the gun that I was carrying before. I was carrying the um, Glock 19. And I know for a fact this should definitely be smaller than the Glock 19. Correct me if I'm wrong. So my question to you guys, to give me that gang affiliation and YouTube, what do you guys think would be better for concealing the firearm on a daily basis? For my concealed carry, will it be Springfield Hellcat that we have here or the Shield Plus? Y'all better say the Shield Plus because I done, I done spent my money on it. I done sold my Glock and I got this uh, Shield Plus. So y'all better say this. And my mama on my heels about her gun. So I'm gonna have to get that back to her ASAP. She ain't gonna let me walk around here two gun shorties on my hip pulling like this akimbo and I'm in Call of Duty. She ain't gonna let me do that. She gonna want this thing back. And I'm not lying. I'm gonna put the red dot on there for the laser. So she like to have a little fun, man, you know. Try to do whatever my mom asked me to do for her, man. She, you know, she like to stay young. She like to stay hip. So she she getting into the two-way community. Shout out to, to mama. Give me that. But um, before I let y'all go, man, what y'all think about this um this new pickup, man? Let me know, you know. Give me the give me the love, give me the hate. Like I say, 
all my videos. You can't appreciate love till you feel hate. So I'm, I'm, I'm embracing it all. Uh, this is a good pickup. You know what y'all think about this, this, this gun as, as a whole. Is it a reliable firearm? You know, is it accurate? Uh, should I do anything to it? Can I do anything to it? I'm just asking some questions. Let me know. I want this to be as small as possible, as concealable as possible. I don't want to print. I don't want it heavy. You know, I just wanted to be able to just hear. And if I, you know, need it in a pinch, I'll be able to get to it and, you know, do my thing. But y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the pickup. Um, definitely comparing it to the Hellcat and the uh, Glock 19, which is not here anymore. But go ahead and like, comment, subscribe before you leave. I definitely appreciate it. Let's grow. to give me that movement, faith, fitness, and not guns. And you know, go ahead and stay on top of your fitness because health is well. So let's commit to be fit while we out there. We stay dangerous with these guns. Let's stay dangerous with our health and be hard to kill as well. With that being said, I'm out. Give me that. That's all I got to say about that.